Hi guys, today I'm going to show you this UHU Smart Bird Feeder with AI detection of more than 10,000 birds. So we have this camera here built in, which connects to Wi-Fi. Then you can use it with the free app. So for me, the whole construction looks solid built. The set comes also with a solar panel, so you don't have to be worried about recharging the battery. But we still have a battery inside, so if the sun is not shining for a couple of days or weeks, doesn't matter. I also like the design of the bird feeder, but I'm going to show and explain you that later. Another positive thing also regarding the app, which is the Vico Home. That's an app which I'm also using for my surveillance cameras. It's one of the best apps regarding that I've ever seen. And so I love to see that this is integrated there. So on paper, very positive things, but how does it really work in real life? So I'm going to take it out of the box, show you what you get, how to set it up, how to mount it. And then of course, I'm going to show you some live footage from bird squills or whatever we have been catching here with this camera. And so here's the packaging with some description, some features, some information about the app different colors, also the QR code for the free app. So let's open it. Comes with a lot of information, warranty, drill pattern, and a very comprehensive user manual. What do you think here? Probably the most information I've ever seen in a user manual of a bird feeder. Comes nicely protected. Here the roof and the main device very solid mounting bracket then a separate mount for the solar panel bird feeder great really solid and in the accessory is the solar panel makes also very good impression it's already pre-connected comes with standard usb-c lot of mounting material even tools and tray for the bird food charging cable to give an initial charge external antenna and even a strap if you just want to mount it without screws for example around the pole something which can be super helpful just remove the protection here camera is pre-installed looks pretty good so we can just rotate this and then we have full access to the port and it's pre-wired here you can see you don't have to do anything by the way it cannot only be adjusted down it can also be a little bit adjusted up depending on the needs then we have this waterproof protection we have even an opening in the opening i don't know if that would work for an extra solar panel but i think it's enough because we have you can see that here in the back we have already a port for the solar power we have this large opening and we have the opening in the opening so we can add the solar panel here in the back and still waterproof so we don't have to feed that complicated through the housing into the camera so far easiest to set up bird feeder i've ever seen the set doesn't come with a micro SD card, so we can choose what we want. I recommend to use good quality, at least class 10, 32 gigabytes micro SD card. The pins go to the back, so we push it fully inside. And then we turn on the camera here with a long press. Okay, I see a blue light. Get confirmation. If this pairing process fails, you can use a toothpick to reset it, but it looks like it's ready for pairing. So I'm here in the Vico Home app where I have already a lot of security cameras. Click on the plus here, Add new device, battery device. I confirm that I heard the sound. Searching for nearby devices has already found this B1. Of course, I have to blur all the personal information here. So we choose a 2.4G Wi-Fi network and I highly recommend to be already connected to the same 2.4G network with your phone before you start with the pairing process. After the bird feeder is successfully connected, you can use any kind of Wi-Fi network. You can even use 3G, 4G, 5G from anywhere in the world. So we enter here Wi-Fi password, click on next, confirm. Let's see if we can connect. Searching for devices again. Connect to device, click on connect. Connection succeeded. Okay, sounds pretty good. Everything successful, was an easy process. So I gave it a name. Let's click on start. Get some information, can do some settings. Really nice guidance through everything. 
So you really don't need the instructions manual. And so you are ready to connect. Click on connecting on play to see if we get a live view. We can make this even larger. So you can see the live view here in the front shows the packaging of this bird feeder. I would say a really nice footage, stable connection. And so we can close this opening here, make it waterproof. But it's additionally protected here inside anyway. And we have even the roof on top. You get nice instructions how to install. And so this is how we install the roof. We slide it in here, for example, on this side. Align it also here. And then we are pushing pretty hard from the back. So I hope I can show you that here. Okay, very easy to open. Fill the bird seats and close it again. To mount this on a wall or on a tree, we secure this here in the back. And so when it's secured, we can put the bird feeder on top. And then we have access to this hole. We have to align it. And then we are using this screw to secure it from underneath. But we can also use this hole here to mount it on a pole. Or again, we can use this strap. Overall, really solid, flexible design. And at the end, we can attach even this antenna to make sure that we have perfect reception. The bird feeder tray has to be like that and not like that. That's important, otherwise you can't secure it. You can see, push it inside. Then we are using this large screw and just secure it here. And here inside we have also these fruit holders. So we don't have to attach them if we don't need. So it's up to you if you want to install them or not. And so here you are after the installation. You can see the solar panel here was super easy to install it with this bracket here on this tree. Everything looks really, really super solid. Here we have the antenna. Yeah, what's also great is that we can easily rotate this if we want. If we need access here, for example, to the USB cable, everything really, really solid. I pointed down the camera a little bit to optimize the angle. What's also good is that even when we turn it down, squirrels or other animals won't have access to the wires. They can't destroy anything. And one of the best things here also how easy we can open that to add the bird seeds or whatever easy close again one of the best constructions i've seen so far and so let's click on the live view to see what's going on i've placed a few peanuts here by the way you can see i have also here the overview about all my other security cameras which i have here on this app so it's really nice can see everything including this bird feeder and here from the bird feeder i can activate directly the sound so i can hear what's going on i could even activate an alarm when i want to chase away squirrels for example here I can turn it on you can see <laughs> okay definitely worked and if it's not very bright, I could activate the white light. I could put it on sleep. I could talk to people. So let's make this even a little bit larger to see what's going on in detail. And you can see that really nice image. The only complaint here from my side is this purple here. That's not purple. Also the tree here. I had it pointed up a little bit more to see more of the tree. And a lot was purple. But there are just very few, very specific colors which are not perfectly shown here. Most of it is definitely working and shown perfectly. What's also very good visible, how wide the view is. Of course, we have some barrel distortion, but it doesn't really bother me. I prefer this so I can see everything what's going on. With some other bird feeders, I can just see a small portion. Here with this bird feeder, I can see everything. And you can see it's really nice, fluent. There are pretty much no lags. When I click here, you can see more details. I can make an image here directly when I see something. And so I can also start recording a video directly from here. By the way, it's not even on my phone. It's on the Android emulation on my PC. That's also a great option which works for this app. And when I stop it, you can see it's saved to the phone's album. So I can download, share it from there. And I can choose the resolution, automatic HD or SD. So let's go on HD. Yeah, that was another squirrel. So with the HD, we have even better image. 
but of course if you're not sure you can also use the automatic so it's adapting to the network speed and the network speed is really good you can see 235 kilobytes per second super stable time is counting up with some other bird feeders i had huge problems i mean it's not too far away from the router but still some bird feeders had huge problems but with this bird feeder the connection is perfectly stable and also from here we have other options like the alarm white light device info every now and then i can hear a little bit of a wind noise but it's actually not too crazy it's really nicely suppressed because we have a lot of wind and with some other bird feeders i had a lot of wind noise so here definitely better it's really nicely suppressed so let's go back while nothing is happening can go to the library and see what has been going on for example here can see a bird has been picking up some peanuts you can make this even a little bit larger as far as i can see plate from the cloud you can see really nice another one here i think let's go to this one here also yeah really nice catch yeah looks like we had some other detection so so also the notification is working definitely usually the detection works really good what i've realized here is that the camera position is definitely not perfect because it's pointing directly towards the sun and we have a lot of moving branches which is causing some false alerts so i highly recommend to have it in a location where you are not pointing it towards the sun and where you don't have moving branches but other than that has been working really good you can see that's from the free cloud of course everything is also on the sd card you can confirm here and then check the footage from the micro sd card so it has been recording a lot yeah here i had the camera a little bit pointed up you can see so super difficult situation because the sun has been pointing directly into the camera that's something which the camera does not like and because of that the camera has caused quite some false alerts and it has been recording pretty much the whole afternoon but what's amazing here is that we are still at 97 percent battery even though we had so many false alerts so the battery consumption of this camera seems to be very 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 low and you can see it's definitely charging just from a little bit of sun there's pretty much no sun here very short before sunset and it's still charging so it looks like everything is working very very efficiently and so here some more settings we can set the sensitivity in three levels the duration i had it on automatically and it would not stop of course in this difficult location and so i've set it to 10 seconds which seems to be pretty perfect then we could also add some cooldown period if you have too many false alerts you could put it on sleep even schedule sleep then we have the notification settings of course also another great way to get rid of false alerts is this intelligent notification or activity zone but of course that needs the micro home awareness and that's not free then we have the alarm settings we could even activate an automatic alarm or flashlight of course only recommended when you're not too close to neighbors then video recording settings important that you're using ht to record we can activate anti-flicker starlight sensor automatic night vision we can have black and white during the night or we can activate the full color mode during the night activating the white light automatically if something is there but of course then animals would realize that and so i have it on black and white but usually we don't have animals during the night birds and squirrels in this area are sleeping after sunset we can also adjust the light sensitivity level here again the sd card footage same thing as we had already sd card management so you can see that would last for very very long time already with 32 gigabytes light setting i've deactivated the indicator light to not disturb the animals then power settings auto on after charging very good idea to have it turned on but i would say usually that's not needed here the audio settings and here we can share this device to other people who have already same app installation guide 
So we have the full set of everything what we need. Of course, to upgrade full function with AI bird detection, we have to go to the user settings and click on upgrade now. Here we have the upgrade options for the normal recording. For example, if you have search cameras here also for intruder detection as a surveillance camera. And in the left tab, we have the bird fan plan. So you would get the ability to recognize birds and remind you with smart push. Of course, then only when birds are here or so. Supports detection of more than 10,000 species of birds. And so you can see this bird feeder definitely supported. What's important to know is on top of that, you need also the normal awareness service plan. So of course, what it means, there is no free AI bird detection here, but we can still see a lot, for example, here the squirrel or some other birds. By the way, it has also been working as a surveillance camera. This is also a good thing when you point it towards your entry door and you have adjusted the sensitivity on the correct level. It will then also notify you when somebody is entering your home and of course then also record. Looks like there's something going on on the bird feeder. I can't see that. Maybe squirrel sitting on top. Yeah, okay, now it's coming from the right side. Now you have that it has disappeared. The shaking has gone. But overall, really good experience, I would say. Very easy installation, very easy setup, usually very good quality image, good function. We have everything what we need. Maybe not absolutely perfect, but I have not seen any kind of bird feeder which is perfect. But definitely one of the most reliable ones, I would say. Absolutely awesome build, stable. That's also something which is very important what do you think here yeah squirrel is going nuts here you yeah, have pushed one of the peanuts a little bit deeper inside so again very interesting device and if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and or it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time